What's up guys, we're gonna build beats. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sound design usable sounds in Omnisphere and make a beat with it. If you guys want to sell radio turn on just do so. Go to the light. Let's hop right into it. Um, so the first thing that I want to go over is basically just how to get any type of sound. So how do you get a pad, bell, pluck, etc. So let's go ahead um, and get into that. All right, so I'm gonna just do a quick rundown on how to get certain sounds and all the effects and stuff like that i'll go over as we make the sounds and stuff i'll go over all that but i just want to make sure people know how to make a bell plug lead etc so default it'll look like this so you can go up here and click initialize patch and it'll put everything to default and you'll have this uh, so to make the, this is already a lead um, but if you wanted to like slide you want to come to the main and go to solo Right, and now it'll kind of legato to the note or slide to the note. And you have glide, and if you turn this up a bit or however, however much you like it, it'll glide to the note, okay? Everything else here, we can go over later in other videos, but for the most part, this is all you need right now. So, since we have the lead out the way, and if you look at the amp, so make sure it's not on filter or mods, it needs to be on amp. And basically the sustain should be all the way up. And if you hold it, it'll just play as long as you hold it. Now, when you turn this down, this is where you get into other sounds. So to make a bell or a key, you basically want to have the decay and the release about the same. Now, how much is up to you, but now it'll kind of like sound like your normal key. OK, um, now for a pad, it kind of depends on what type of pad, but usually you would um, you could turn up the release and maybe a little bit of the sustain. Um, but a pad is more of sound, like it's more of effects, like reverb and stuff. Um, but if you want to, um, what I like to do is turn up the attack though. I don't like my pads to be super strong. So I like to turn this up. Okay. So that's pretty much how you would build the pad. Um, and then a pluck is just a pretty much a bell with a small decay. Okay, and then you could do some reverse stuff if you put the attack in the decay opposite. So if the attack is higher than the decay, you can kind of get some cool reverse. Okay, so that's pretty much the rundown. Um, I'll go over like sound, like picking the sounds and stuff like that later. Um, and as far as like changing the shape, this is pretty self explanatory. Okay, so that is the rundown of how to make all of the sounds. Um, so now we're gonna get into making our own custom sound. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just initialize patch. So everyone starts at the same settings because um, I messed with the things earlier. Now with this, we're just gonna layer and mix the sounds together. That's pretty much all you're doing um, because once you kind of shape the sound how you want, after that, you're just kind of modulating or just kind of putting effects on the sounds to kind of shape it how you want. Um, so with this, we have like all these wavetables and waveforms and all this stuff, right? That you can choose from plenty of folders, uh, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just choose like a classic. We can, let's try this one, whatever. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's kind of soft. It's a little soft. I kind of want to do like a, like a dark bell. Um, so let's mess with the shape a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, so um, now you can mess with analog and phase. Now I don't, I don't really ever see phase do anything. Um, but analog gives it like the tune effect if you put it all the way up. Right, and I really like that effect, so I'm gonna use that. Um, so now we're just gonna use what I showed you earlier, and we're just gonna kind of um, give it its little shape. And I'm gonna actually, because I want it to hold. Okay, I like that. Um, so now let's go over here and let's go to sample and then let's choose like one of these little analog tones. And I'm gonna just choose choose stuff I know that works. Um, so I'm gonna just try to go from like one of these ones that I've already chosen just to save time because 
you can spend a lot of time clicking on all these these presets so that's pretty cool but that's not what i'm going for though See this one? Okay, that's pretty subtle. I want something like this. And then let's just. Okay, they're just going to have to do for now. Okay, so now let's do one more sample. Now I want to mix in like a realistic sound. And this is pretty much sound design. You're just layering sounds together, right? To create one um, new sound, right? Uh, so I want a bell. Where's the bell? Here it is, okay. Um, I already got some favorite here. Okay, yeah, we can use that one. Same thing, same, make sure you're on amp. Um, and turn these up. All right, so I like that. I think that's good. There are other things obviously here that you can mess with. Um, and on this C, this usually will be negative 12. So if you don't like that, make sure you click here and put it to zero. So it's like the regular pitch. Um, so now what we wanna do is go to effects and now we can add some effects. Now I'm gonna just add some on one because I don't wanna be here all day trying to, you know, make this perfect and all this stuff. Um, so we can just add like a easy verb, something like this, right? And you don't need to add everything on every single sound either. Let's do like a radio delay. Just give it some atmosphere, right? And then always on the common, well not always, but most of the time I add a inner space. And if you go to creative and go to inner space, usually this kind of melts everything together. So now we have our dark bell sound, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do next is actually make a melody with this because I wanna, I wanted to do it first, but I figured let's just make a sound first. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so quickly, I'm gonna just kind of throw down the melody. I'm not gonna explain too much. Um, so we can just grab our, you can't see that, but grab our fifth. We can just place it in. And really, I'm gonna do another fifth from here. Okay. And then we can just try to, try to come up with a little melody. Probably just keep that going, honestly, just throughout the whole thing. And then let's take these, pull them up, and then. Okay, so that is the melody. So now we've made a melody with our sound and now we're just gonna make our like counters um, and make the melody as we make the sounds too. Okay, so for our next sound, I'm thinking we can add like kind of like a pad or like a rhythm to it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do to help is first, let's go in here and I'm gonna just kind of follow the same pattern. And I'm guessing this will be the, the baseline. So I'm gonna just pull this up an octave like that. Okay, um, so now going here. So now we got, so I don't have to keep playing it myself, right? Um, so with this, I'm gonna just turn this off. Let's go here and then we can choose a different sound from this, right? Uh, so let's see what we can kind of work with. Play. Okay, I, I, you know what, let's just stick with this, okay. Um, now over here, 
let's try i want some kind of like scary or like like the tuned any of these work no i kind of like that i kind of like that all right so let's use this um and i'm gonna turn these up a bit i want to see what this sounds like by so okay it's kind of like gives give a little weird vibe to it um so from here it's just you know you kind of just tweak any sound oops so. okay there we go and then i'm gonna pull an attack up so now what i want to do is give it rhythm so we can go to arp and we can activate this okay um and then i will usually just turn the length like for something like this i will turn the length down and put it on arp like all the way over and then since we wanted to kind of stay consistent and i want a decent rhythm here so i'm gonna put a little like the velocity down so it's like a bounce and you can kind of mess around with these i usually would choose like spread for something like this okay and then let's go a little slower Let's turn this down negative 12, that's too high. And then we still have this on too. So I think that's good. Um, that's good for this. So now let's do our last sound and then we can kind of just try to make a beat with it, okay? All right, so this is our last sound we're gonna add. And this one, I'm gonna just try to keep it simpler. I'm just gonna take away from what we have and just change up like the actual like sounds and stuff. So with this one, I want this to be kind of like a play, like a lead. And I'm gonna need to change this probably, mute this or something. All right, let's go to sample. And I wanna choose like a synthy sound. Got too many like soft stuff. Um, and yeah, we need to take off one of these delays. Let's take off this reverb and then pull this back. Okay, I think that's good. Um, so this isn't a bad sound. All right, so now let's add another sound to this. Um, matter of fact, let's actually mess with this a bit. So let's add another sound back over here. Um, let's see, what do I want? Let's do, I wanna try this, oh, let's just, oh, here they are, okay. Some of these like Mellotron so. I like that. Um, so now we're just going to use the amp, just mess around. Okay, I like this, and I'm gonna just turn this one down a bit. And this is just sound design. It takes a while. You just kind of trial and error, right? It's pretty much all you're doing the whole time. Um, so forgive me if I'm just quiet for a while. Uh, so common, and I'm gonna just choose a different preset just so we don't use the same presets over and over again. Um, so I'll just try um, some other one. That's doing too much. I kind of like that the first one I picked actually. Just save a little bit of time. 
Okay, so let's try using this in here. We can kind of finish the beat. So I'm just kind of use the same notes. See what this sounds like. want to eq a bit but i'm not going to i'm gonna leave it right there i think this is good enough okay so in other videos what i'll do is since we have like the basic out of the way like you know oh wait why is this on turn that off hold up i want to fix this real quick okay um but yeah so um i'll just do stuff more advanced like modulating and all this stuff like that but i think this is good enough for the basics so now i'm gonna just make a beat uh, with these sounds all right all right so we're gonna go ahead and do the drums i'm gonna try to keep this quick because it's already a long video um just the nature of sound design videos because you you know it takes a while to shape the sound how you want right so it is what it is uh i'm gonna just keep this very bare bones and simple Okay, we could deal with that, and then let's do like this here. I like using sounds like this because you can get away with a lot of sense the decay is so small. I think I'm gonna leave it like that, honestly. All right, so that is it. I'm gonna play it just one loop through. We'll be done. Okay, and that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, of course, we could go in and add effects and stuff, but, you know, we already kind of uh, did that. So this going to be for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, I'll be making more arms for, you know, sound design or just sound design videos in general um, and more advanced. But this going to be for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like this new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.